All right, hey everybody. We're gonna do a quick little video today on how to set up your grinder, uh, particularly to the correct height. I've often tried to explain this in emails and forums, and it's really hard to explain in words, so we thought we'd do this short video. Essentially, a grinder needs to, first of all, be mounted solidly wherever you intend to use it. I'm not really a big fan of caster or wheeled platforms, just simply because the grinder won't stay in place. Uh, so with that in mind, you want a good, solid mounting surface. All of my benches are literally mounted to the wall of the shop. Um, this particular grinder, you'll notice it has two by fours underneath of it. This was done in order to raise this height of this grinder where it would be correct for myself. Uh, let me emphasize here, the grinder needs to be set up for the specific individual who's going to be using it. The way to, just, to figure out where your grinder needs to be set as far as height goes is lock your elbows loosely into your sides. This is where you're going to be holding everything. If you're to turn and face your grinder, right there should be the main portion of your grinding surface. Absolutely, you cannot, anytime these hands move away from your body when you're grinding, whether that be up, whether that be down. Anytime you leave the security and the stability of having your arms and hands against your body, there is not a human on this planet that has enough strength to hold a knife steady and even when grinding. Essentially, everything that I do when grinding, you know, just an example of a knife here, this is my control hand. I'm going to use my thumb and my forefinger to either pressure one direction or the other. This is going to be basically my offhand, but the trick being is that with this offhand, your hands have to stay against your body one, two, throughout the pass on the grinder, your hands can't leave the body. Um, real quickly, and I think we're going to get into a little deeper later on actually doing a grinding video. But for right now, suffice to say that if you're at your grinder and you're grinding with your hands away from your body, I hate to use the term doing it wrong, but you're going to mess it up. What you need to be in is on that grinder with the hands right into your body. And the only thing that moves is your hips and knees when you're doing this. You're going to come on your grinder, find your angle that you want to grind at, and then basically you're going to sway your body from left to right, depending, or right to left, depending on which side of the knife you're grinding on. Uh, but anyway, we'll get more into that later, but absolutely, it's, it increases your difficulty of not only learning to grind, but grinding in general if this grinder is not set up correctly. If you'll notice on this bench, this bench is actually cut down versus one side versus the other. The reason being is this grinder's tooling arm was at a different height than this one. But in order to make it correct height for me, it required me to cut this bench down about two and a half inches. Uh, yeah, it sounds like a lot of trouble, but it absolutely makes all the difference in the world in your grinding. So essentially that's it for right now. We'll come back later uh, and probably do a full on grinding video at some point in time. But I just wanted to demonstrate exactly what I mean when I try to relay a grinder being the correct height for the individual. Thanks very much. We'll talk at you again soon.